When Excel 2010 is opened, the most noticeable change is that the toolbars and menus are gone and replaced by the ribbon. Introduced in Excel 2007, the buttons and commands that used to fill up several toolbars are organized into tabs, groups, and buttons. The whole concept behind the ribbon is to make finding commands intuitive and make the user faster and more efficient. The ribbon starts by displaying the most common commands here on the Home tab. From the left, you'll find the groups Clipboard, Font, Alignment, Number, Styles, Cells, and Editing. In the lower right corner of some of the groups is a little icon to open the Group Options window, which is used to find commands that aren't on the ribbon. The Insert tab contains all the different types of objects that might be inserted into a worksheet, such as pivot tables, illustrations, and charts. New in Excel 2010 are spark lines, which make it easy to spot trends in data, and a slicer tool, which is a new type of filter used with pivot tables. The Page Layout tab has everything you need to ready the workbook for printing. Here, you can change the margins and orientation, or automatically apply formatting with a theme. Looking for functions? Check out the Function Library on the Formulas tab which organizes Excel functions into logical categories. This tab also contains a group for working with named ranges and formula auditing. When working with data in a spreadsheet, the Data tab has some excellent options. For importing data, choose from Microsoft Access, the Web, text files, or other sources including Microsoft SQL. Sorting, filtering, and data tools are also close at hand. If you'll be sharing the workbook with others, you'll find the tools needed under the Review tab. Here you'll find Spell Check, Protection Options, along with collaboration features to add comments. And last but not least is the View tab. Introduced in Excel 2007, there is now a page layout view similar to Word. This is the best way to see the worksheet before sending it to the printer. One of the greatest changes to Excel 2010 is the ability to create, modify, and share ribbon changes. If you right-click anywhere within the ribbon, you'll find an option to customize. When the window opens, it will be divided into left and right sections. The left section allows you to choose commands for groups, such as the most popular commands, macros, and all commands which gives an alphabetical listing of every command in Excel. On the right section, you can modify and arrange the existing tabs, groups, and commands. At the bottom, you'll find options to create new tabs, new groups, reset, and even import and export the customizations to share with other Excel users. On the far left of the ribbon is the File tab which replaces the Office button in Excel 2007. It contains the functions used every day, such as those to open, save, print, or start a new workbook. 